Hello there, it's Patty and Marie. With Hi the guys. Cute. Hi. We're on our way to my son's grave today, and we're also going to meet up with. Um, oh, it's bright out here. Oh, we're I need also, my sunglasses. We're also going to meet up with uh, Christine. That's the woman that lost her 14-year-old son, and he's buried not far away from Gary's grave. Aiden. Uh, his name is Aiden, and we're going to meet up with her and uh, do another EVP session with her. She's excited about it. Yeah. I am bringing my tarot cards that I've been practicing with. They're the Archangel cards. They're not really tarot cards. They're Archangel cards, which I'll explain more about that to you later when I'm using the cards. Um, I'm going to kind of explain it to her, so I'll be explaining it to you guys at the same time. So uh, we're on our way to pick up James right now. James is going to go with us, and... Uh, we're going to have an adventurous day. We're also going to try to hit up a couple haunted uh, cemeteries, um, maybe Heritage Village, which is a bunch of old houses. So we're haunted. going to try to squeeze a lot of Ghost stuff in. This. Yeah. We're going to try to squeeze a lot of stuff in today. So we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, we have made it to Omar's house, and we are picking up James. Here he comes. Well, he looks tired. He looks like I did about an hour ago. <laughs> Wake up! Wake up, James! You ready to go? <laughs> you sure Oops. you want to go? Yeah. You okay, I, I, man? I hurt my back. You did. Aww. He needs a patty Aww. rub. I got some back cream with me and stuff, and I got that hey, tens unit what's with up, me. guys? Got James with us. Yes, sir. We're going to go down to my son's grave, and we're going to go to uh, a couple other haunted, couple other haunted locations. But he, James will get a chance to meet that lady today, Christine, cool. the one that uh, you've seen in our video. Yeah, yeah, her son died, too. Oh, so. Okay, we're on our... Oh. Oops, we are on our way. Look at Omar's big piece of property here. This is so nice. I thought mine was big until he got his. Okay, everybody, we are getting ready to pull into the Heritage Village. Uh, there's a lot of old houses here, very historic homes from the 1800s from the Pinellas County area. And uh, all these houses were moved here back in the 70s, and they uh, placed them here on, for display for the public. And uh, some of them are very haunted. They have a lot of history. Uh, from back, you know, in the old days, and uh, a lot of bad things happened in one of these houses in particular, because, and we know that for a fact, because the house was really close to where Marie and I lived when we were growing up. Um, so, we're excited to be bringing James here. It will be his first time seeing the place. Oh boy, am I going to be able to find a parking spot? There was a couple back there. So, we're getting ready to go in here and explore some of these old homes. Uh, show you guys a little piece of history from Pinellas County. Uh, these 1800 homes, there's also a train station here, a log cabin home. Uh, each one has a sign in front of it that tells about the history of each place. Turn the air off so you guys can hear me. It's really hot out today. Gosh. So, um, we're going to go and explore. So, I'm going to show you guys around this place. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You ready, James? Mm -hmm. Hey. James. I'm ready. We're at the yes. Heritage Let's Village, and this is the entryway, which are these really cool looking pillars to take you into where all these old historic homes are. Ooh, listen to that motorcycle. They're getting it. Thanks a lot, guy. Anyway, House of the Seven Gables, Safety Harbor Church, Archives and Library, Museum Offices. It's pretty cool.
this old fireplace here, it actually has a, they have a picture right here of probably orange grove pickers, because there, the, there was a lot of orange groves in this area back in those days, and I believe that's what that, that's a picture of. And then this store that they're showing right here is actually here. Oh wow. Yeah, that store is actually here. Check it out, it's playing music. It's beautiful. I went to try to walk in there and they didn't notice it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna rotisserie a phone. I, got chickens on the <laughs> I have one of these old. Is this an old sewing machine? Maybe it is an old phone. I don't know. I know what that is. The old yeah, doll is carriage. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Imagine all the history in here of all the all the dinners cooked in here. Check this old kitchen out. Today. Actually, we're gonna, Omar and I are going to be filming tonight something really Look at cool. this. This is so
Wesley Low House. It was built in 1888. I'm here with a fan okay. that met us here. She saw us in James's live stream. Her name is Laura. She lives here in Largo. <laughs> she actually told me about some other places in the area that we're going to go check out. Not today, but we're going to meet with her. I gave her my number. She's going to call me. We're going to meet up one day, and she's going to show me some places. But we're going to do a spirit session in here in this old 1888 Wesley Low House and see if we can't communicate with Mr. Lowe or Mrs. Lowe or anybody that's here. Okay. Is anybody with us right now? Hello there. Mr. Lowe, are you here with us? Mrs. Lowe, are you here? We would like you to speak to us. Can you say something to us? Tell us something about your home. Did you build this yourself? Yes, I did. How long did you live here? Are you happy with what they've done with it now? Where are you guys buried at? What cemetery? I know that sounds like a lot of people trying to come through at once. Can you speak one at a time, please? What year did you build this home? How many children did you have? Do you want me to come back another time? Can you move in front of my camera before I go? I would appreciate it if you could.
Have you moved in front of the camera yet? Thought I saw something. Was that you? Do you know my name? Most spirits do. Is my mother here with me? She used to love this place. Mama, are you here? This was one of your favorite places here. gonna get going now. It was nice talking to you. Thank you for talking to us. Hopefully I can listen back and hear what all you guys had to say, okay? It's always easy for me to hear what you said when I go home and listen back. And if it was anything interesting and if I know that you want me to come back, I will. Okay, thank you. It's hard to walk away when you hear so much coming through. That's why it's hard for me to turn the camera off sometimes. You guys rest in peace, okay? If you want me to come back, say yes or no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will do that, okay? I'll be back. All right, bye bye. God, it's so hard to turn it off when yeah, I'm getting. That's so cool. Isn't that cool? Hello everybody, this is Patty with the G Team and I'm here with James and my sister Maria and we're at my son Gary's grave. Uh, we're waiting on Christine, which is the woman that lost her 14 year old son. She's on her way here to meet up with us to do a session on her son's grave as well. We're trying to go live. We're having issues with my phone. I'm not sure what's going on, but it won't even let us go live, but we're going to keep trying. By the time you see this video, you'll know whether we went live or not. But we're all sitting here, and uh, we're getting ready to do some filming here at Gary's grave. I'm going to put some stuff on his grave that were from fans. Yeah. Some of our fans sent some really nice stuff the other night. And we opened it on our live stream. So there we go. I'm getting ready to put it on there. So I'm going to set the camera up here so that you can see me putting the stuff on there. I would like to go live and do it live as well, but 
I don't know what's going on. So let me keep trying. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to use camera fi. Okay. The live stream wouldn't work out. We tried. But anyway, I've decorated my son's grave. I also went over to Christine's son's grave, Aiden, which you'll see that video. And uh made communication with her son and I asked Gary to come over there too and communicate with us which I believe that he did uh, we did ask a few questions that uh, all of us want to know about I did a card session with her which you guys will be seeing all that as well but I am going to ask my son a few questions real quick and then we got to get going before the traffic gets really bad um, so let me do that right now Gary, are you with me? Who took those things off your grave? Gary, did somebody steal that stuff off your grave? Did the lawn people take it? Happy Easter in heaven, Gary. We miss you very much. Everyone wants me to tell you hello and that they love you, including all the fans. Gary, does everybody stay the same age in heaven? <laughs> Who are you with in heaven right now? It's a noisy town, that's for sure. I love you very much, Gary, and I miss you so much. I know I don't have to be at your grave to communicate with you. Is it true you follow me everywhere I go? Can you show yourself?
Can you show yourself in front of the camera, Gary? Can you go stand by your grave? Is there any messages you want me to give your kids? Any messages you want me to give your kids, Gary? They miss you very much. Brock's having a real tough time right now. Make sure you give him some guidance and, and help him as much as you can. He needs you right now. Even though you're on the other side, I know you can help him. All right, Gary. Well, bye-bye. We're going to talk to you again when we go home, okay? Love you very much. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and go now. It's been a long day. We went to Heritage Village. Um, did quite a bit of footage today at different, various different places. And um, so I can't wait to go back home and, and listen to... Okay, I can't wait to go back home and listen to the footage that I got here at my son's grave today and also at Aiden's grave. I'm um, pretty excited about it. I just, I'm not happy that the fact that I left my list at home of all the questions I was going to ask, but you know what? I don't have to be here to ask those questions. Okay, I'm sitting here with Christine at her son Aiden's grave site. Uh, Christine is the woman that I met on Gary's birthday. Her son's buried not too far away from my son. She keeps an eye on Gary's grave for me and, um, she hasn't been here in a little while because she's been really sick, so she was just as surprised as me that everything was missing off Gary's grave over there. It kind of aggravates me. But I do have my Archangel cards that I told you guys about, and I'm going to do a reading with her right now. I've done a few of them practicing with family members and things like that, and it's been very, very, very successful. So I've asked Archangel Michael to guide me. She's got her grandbaby with her. Archangel Michael, I ask that you stay by my side and watch over me during this oracle card session, ensuring that only God's love and wisdom comes through. Okay, I want you to think of something, which I know you're going to be thinking of your son, but anything that you want to know, um, just think really hard. Concentrate on a message that you want from him. Okay. And I'm going to concentrate and shuffle the cards. So I feel like something's telling me to stop while you're concentrating.
Okay. Past, present, future. Okay. All right. Past is a, sen a sense of humor card. Let's see, I haven't seen that one yet. Sense of humor. Did he have a sense of humor? Yes. He did? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll be back. Okay. I gotta go back. All right. Since it, go that way? Yeah. Do you want? Do you want him to take him? He can. Do you want to take the little yeah. one with you, James? Huh? Do you want to take the little one with you, or okay. you can? You want to get push him in the stroller, or you want to just carry him, or? Okay. Do you want to go with him? Which is easier? Which is easier for you? Oh, it doesn't matter. I can edit all this part out. <laughs> we'll go for a walk, bud. He's good with kids. Let's go find kids him. love him. <laughs> Okay. All right. This is a sense of humor card, and she does. She just told me that her son did have a sense of humor, and this is a past card. And this is what it looks like right here. Okay. okay. This situation would benefit from your sense of humor. View your experience as if you were watching a scene from a movie. Keeping in mind, as Shakespeare said, that all of the world's a stage. What do you find humorous about human nature in this scenario? By getting a new perspective on everyone's behavior, you can automatically detach with love. Humor allows people to drop their defenses so that love can enter and heal the situation and relationships. That's why God and the angels have a wonderful sense of humor, and so do you. And it says possible specific meanings of this card would be Know that laughter is the best medicine. Watch a funny movie or a TV show to boost your mood. Your life's purpose may involve com com comedy writing, acting, or speaking. Learn some new jokes as a way to help your relationships enroll in stand-up comedy, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Prayer for this card. Thank you for helping me see the humor in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. So I th I'm, I, what I'm getting from this is that this card is, is because he had a sense of humor. Uh, he probably wants you to continue that maybe, to, to, you know, to, that he had a sense of humor. You probably had one, you know, you guys probably used to joke around a lot. You did. You did? Okay, that's kind of what I'm getting from this card. And it seems to me like that, because that's the past card. So it's kind of telling you, telling me that his past, that that's the way things were, and he probably wants you to continue that. So let's see what the second card says. It's time to leave this unhealthy situation. Okay, let's see what that one, that one says. It's time to leave this unhealthy situation. All right. Archangel Michael has heard your pleas for help, and his answer comes to you through his, through this card, leave. Okay, you're, you've been enduring a toxic situation for far too long, investing time and energy that isn't yielding healthful results. This experience isn't beneficial for you or the other people involved. You don't need to remain in negativity, beloved one, walk away without guilt or hesitation. The angels will assist you to ensure that parting is a harmony, harmonious and possible as possible. And Archangel Michael will shield and protect you. Follow your inner guidance every step of the way and the transition will be smooth. And it says possible specific meanings of this card would be apply for a new job detoxify from alcohol, cigarettes, or other drugs, see a relationship counselor, speak honestly to someone with whom you're having difficulties, eat a more healthy diet, get a second medical opinion, or consult a divorce attorney, move to a new home, or make sure that your environment is free of chemicals and toxins. And the prayer that comes with this card from Archangel Michael is, Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your an your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. 
So it sounds, I don't know if it makes sense to you because I don't know what your personal life is like or whatever, but if it means anything to you, you, you know, you can keep that to yourself if it, if it means anything. That's supposed to be right now. So that's a message probably from your son about right now. Okay, over here is, this is the future. The, like the, up, the near future. Keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Okay, let's see what that one says. Archangel Michael has been guiding you along the path of your life's purpose. Can you feel the rush of excitement whenever you think about your desired occupation and activities? This is a signal that you're on the right path. And this card reminds you to keep a steady eye on your goals. Continue, continually visualize that you already have the career or volunteer work of your dreams. See yourself helping other people or issues that are dear to your heart. Imagine that you have complete financial security while you devote, devote yourself to this important work. Any desire you have is viable as long as you stay focused upon it. The path to making your intentions a reality may differ from your expectations, yet the outcome is likely to exceed your dreams. Know that the angels walk beside you and throughout your journey, keep the faith and keep going. Possible specific meanings of this card is, make a dream board, using construction paper, create a, col a collage with cut out photos and phrases from magazines that reflect your dreams. Affirm daily that your dreams are already a reality. The prayer for this card is, thank you Archangel Michael for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realizing my dreams. So that's, that's, does any of that, may, I mean, it's my first time doing it with anybody. Like I said, you're the first one other than, I did it on myself twice, did my sister Shirley, I did Marie, I did uh, my grandson, I did my granddaughter, you know, it's because I just got these and it's, so far it's been right on. With everybody so that was pretty interesting guys what do you think yeah yeah and we'll do it again any other time we can I'll bring these every time I come here okay. oh look at that that's beautiful what's the camera be careful uh oh be careful okay all right so we're gonna do a spirit box session right now we're gonna try to communicate with Aiden and uh, my feet are going to sleep, so I'm fixing to take my right shoes off. <laughs> you want to poke my it in here? My feet are going to Where's sleep. Uh, here we go. He's right there. James has got him. Oh. He's right there. Oh. Okay. I'm taking him off. Oh, God. I got two. Oh, there we go. I am beat. Two. This is all. Uh, oh, my feet are disgusting. Okay, enjoy the whole Back up this a little bit, okay? You want to sit in there? Oh, did he there? cry in the bathroom? Oh. We didn't even see you guys walk by. Okay, we're going to try to communicate with you, Aiden, so I hope that you're here right now. I'm sure that you are, and, at this, and you can also try to communicate with Marie, and Marie can hear your thoughts and, and your messages. What? Where? Power on. Okay, Auxiliary. here we go, guys. Is this thing still going? Yes, it's going. Okay. Turn that up. It's all the way up. Is it? Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, no, it wasn't. Whoops. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Oh. Hey, Aiden. Are you here, Aiden? Your mama's here. Hi, Aiden.
tell your mom you love her?
I have it or what God wants us to know. Unfortunately, our sons are laid to rest here forever until we join them. 